Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, July 31st, and man, <clears throat> I can't believe we're already at the end of July. The short-named months are over, and now we move into the long-named months. Never liked the long-named months. Anyway, it's a beautiful day here. It's um, going to get into the 80s, but the mornings have just been fantastic. You know, when I wake up, it's in the 60s, and just beautiful sunshine, perfect day. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day so far this Sunday. Uh, I know a lot of folks have had uh, some pretty bad weather lately. Um, saw some posts and videos from James Stumbo. Uh, some of the flooding there looks absolutely devastating. I knew, I know some other folks have, have had uh, flooding problems. So I wish you all the best. Our hearts go out to you and you're certainly uh, in our prayers. It's uh, it's always hard to think about, you know, how you can be sitting on a beautiful day and somebody really not that far away from you can be in, you know, terrible weather. But that was brought home to me this this uh, past week uh, in a, a very minor way, but but interesting way. We'll talk about that. But let me let me get this lit up. So. I am uh, smoking my Boswell Shot Shell. This is a gift from my buddy Jack, and there's a reason I'm smoking it today. Well, there's always a reason I am, but... Um, I was finally able to track down Jack. I had a chat with him yesterday. I've missed him. It's been... Uh, been I think more than a month since I've, I've been able to talk to him so and I am smoking uh, old Joe Krantz today and I might tell you why later let me let me start with Jack and then we'll get into the beach trip and we'll see where that takes us so I did I did catch up with Jack yesterday um, those of you that know um, that have been watching me for a while know that Jack is a friend of mine. He lives about two and a half hours away and a uh, wonderful fellow, uh, longtime pipe smoker, has an amazing pipe collection. And uh, he got in touch with me through, through um, YouTube and we very quickly became friends. You know, I, I visit him several times. We talk on the phone. Uh, really glad to have Jack in my life. Uh, Jack is not old, but he's had a couple of strokes and he's uh, got some problems just being able to walk and, and you know, he falls sometimes and stuff. Anyway, to make a long uh, and somewhat difficult story short, uh, Jack has found out that he's probably going to have to stay in a care facility uh, from now on. And I know this makes him incredibly unhappy. Uh, he's going to have to sell his house, uh, his pipes are going to, but from what he tells me, his pipes are going to go back to Boswell's where they'll be refurbished and uh, sold as estates. Uh, this is, he can't smoke in the facility. He's, you know, he's in good spirits, all things considered, he's in very good spirits. And I'm planning on getting out there in the next couple of weeks to visit him. Yeah, they, they will allow visitors. Uh, they better allow visitors. Uh, and I know he doesn't yet have any, uh, he doesn't even have Netflix right now. So I know that's killing him as well because his, the things he loved most were the YouTube pipe community, Netflix and, and pipe smoking. And but he doesn't have any of those right now. So, but I hope he eventually does get to see this video. We're thinking of you, Jack, we're praying for you. And I, I ask, all of you folks just to pray or just to spend a moment just sending some kind thoughts Jack's way. Uh, he's he's doing good and he's going to continue to do good, but we want to keep his spirits up and we want him to, to see the, the positives in all this. And, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing him because Jack, you know, some, it's a funny thing, and I know we've talked about it before, but you, you meet someone because you're pipe smokers. You know, the pipe brings us together. It's got an amazing ability to do that. 
um, you, know, you look at some of the, the folks in, in this community and you say to yourself, if I, if I just wound up sitting in a, a waiting room with them for whatever, and I didn't know they were a pipe smoker, would I even talk to them? What, is that someone that I feel comfortable approaching? Is that someone that I think is, you know, someone that would feel comfortable with me? Uh, is that the kind of person I think I'd be friends with? And, you know, about half the time the answer is yes, and about half the time the answer is no. But you put a pipe in their hand, and the answer is 100% of the time yes. So this brings us together. But the friendship we form is, is much stronger than that. And, you know, Jack and I will probably not have an opportunity to share a pipe again. But uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to many more uh, visits, phone calls, and, and chats with him because we share similar interests, we have similar outlooks on things, and, and I just enjoy talking to him. So, Jack, I wish you all the best, my friend, and we'll be, we'll be chatting soon. All right, so thank you for indulging me on in what is a very disjointed Sunday morning chat. I'm sorry about that, but it's just been a disjointed kind of day. Took my wife to the beach. You saw the, um, hopefully you saw the uh, bumper photo at the beginning, which was a picture I took on the beach. Uh, we had a nice day, just a day trip. Uh, went to North Wildwood, actually pretty far North Wildwood. So we were in a fairly, uh, you know, the, the part of the beach where they don't have lifeguards and swim at your own risk, that kind of stuff. But you still can't smoke. Although we were the only people. You know, it would have been unreasonable for the other folks on the beach to, to complain because they were so far away. But the truth is it was so windy that I probably wouldn't have smoked the pipe anyway. So, but we spent a couple hours on the beach. Uh, we drove down in the morning, got started a little bit later because, you know, traveling with a woman. Uh, Hit some traffic on the way, some pretty heavy traffic around Philadelphia, but got there a little past noon and decided to uh, have lunch before we went down to the beach. And we did something that I've been wanting to do for years uh, and finally got the chance to. We went to uh, Maui's Dog House in North Wildwood. Now, I don't know if you know Maui. Uh, he... I don't think he has a YouTube channel. I should have checked this first. I first met him through YouTube. He commented on some videos and stuff. Um, and then uh, we connected on Instagram. And uh, I follow him on Instagram. And he, he runs this, this hot dog stand. Hot dog stand. That's kind of, that sounds like he's got a little cart or something. He, he runs a restaurant that specializes in hot dogs, but has other things as well. And it is in North Wildwood. It's a it's a beach type place, so there's outdoor seating and a you know pickup window. It's not a. Yeah, I got some pictures, so I'll show you some pictures here. Um, so this is the. Um, <laughs> this was just one of the things they have on the on the table, but I I thought it was kind of cool. So, uh, I ate out of a dog bowl, and uh, yes, indeed, everything is served in dog bowls. Uh, it's called Maui's Dog House. He's been featured on a couple of those uh, Food Network type shows, which is really kind of cool. Uh, I don't know what order these pictures are in. Okay, so here you see this is, I'm sitting at a table just kind of taking a picture of the window there, and you see the, the kind of place it is. Really, really nice atmosphere, very comfortable, uh, covered. So if it's raining or if it's too hot, you got shade. Yeah, good time we had there. And the, the menu is incredible. So. This is what I wound up with. This is, uh, believe it or not, called the Drunk Sacrilegious Horse. And don't ask me to explain why. Uh, <laughs> it's a hot dog with um, chili, cheese, onion, and sauerkraut. And I know the sauerkraut is beer-soaked, so that's where the drunk part comes from. Why it's a horse and why he's sacrilegious, I couldn't tell you. I also had an order of uh, their their macaroni salad, which is fantastic. Uh, my wife had uh, a bacon cheeseburger that I think was called the Cardiac Burger. We both decided to be 
a little bit bad on our, our diets and uh, went a little crazy, but it was worth it. You know, this is all part of her birthday celebration. So I was, I was happy to uh, take one for the, <laughs> for the team, as they say, and eat, eat uh, food that I'm not supposed to be eating. But I, it, I was fine. She's, she's got a gluten issue that she's still working through. It's not that she's gluten intolerant, but it, it bothers her a bit. So uh, she didn't eat much of the bun, but she really enjoyed the burger. The hot dogs were fantastic. It, it's a great place to go. Maui's a great guy. Uh, service was wonderful. And, and come on, where else are you going to get to eat out of a dog bowl? So... If you're ever in the area, North Wildwood, New Jersey, be sure to look up Maui's Doghouse. It was it was a lot of fun. And we had a nice time on the beach. It, like I said, it was a fairly deserted portion of the beach just because there was no swimming, uh, which was nice. Uh, my wife just kind of waded up to her knees, maybe. Not even up to her knees, probably. Uh, I don't. I just sat there in red, which makes me happy. Uh watched some seagulls and some sandpipers and yeah, just had a big old time. And then we headed back home, uh, went to the movies the next day as the princess birthday tour continues. <laughs> I tell her I'm going to have to take a vacation after her birthday week. We went to the movies yesterday to see the, um, the minion movie. I forget what it's called. I know it sounds silly and you know I feel a little silly saying it but we enjoy those movies we, we, we really enjoyed the, the Despicable Me and Despicable Me too and now this one is called the Minion something or the other but anyway it was fun it was just good silly fun Not, nothing you know it's it's nice sometimes just to be able to sit back and uh, Take your mind off the hook and let the information flow. And you know with something like that movie, you don't have to worry about what's getting in. You can just enjoy it. And that's what we did. So, yeah. We were supposed to go to the local movie theater. We're, we're lucky. We've got a movie theater that's just... I could walk to it. Uh, they had a... They celebrated their 100th anniversary yesterday. And they had a... Uh, Roaring Twenties theme night. They were showing silent movies. They had a big band swing disc jockey and all kinds of fun stuff. And we really wanted to go, but we were just exhausted and uh, we didn't go. So <laughs> that's okay. Quiet night in. So that's the beach story. Updated you on Jack. Ah, oh, why am I smoking old Joe Kranz? That was the other thing I wanted to talk about. So, I finished A Pound of Haunted Bookshop. Well, that's not exactly true, because I still have a mason jar upstairs that I fill from that pound. It probably will last me a, maybe two days. It's a small mason jar. Do I have one of those? It's one of these size mason jars. So, about two days. Two to three days. So I got that, and I've got Haunted Bookshop. I've got plenty, you know, but I, I want to, I felt like I went through that last pound very quickly, and I thought, well, I, I got all this other stuff around here, and, you know, I just cleaned up my desk and found, it's embarrassing, but I found 14 bags of tobacco on my desk. Um, so I think I'm going to try to do without Haunted Bookshop for a bit. I, I don't know how this is going to go. Might do a week, might do a day, I don't know. Old Joe Kranz is a reasonable substitute. It's not as... Uh, not as good in my opinion just because it's sweeter and... Uh, It's nice for the first pipe of the day. I think I'd, I'd, I almost wish I didn't have a pound of Pegasus upstairs, which is what I'm smoking in the mornings for the first pipe of the day, because I'd, I'd like to switch to old Joe Kranz, but I, I may do that in time. But it's not an all-day smoke for me, because it just doesn't have enough 
burly flavor, you know. A little too sweet. A little too light for my, my palate. In terms of nicotine, I can't tell you. I, I don't... I apparently don't have nicotine receptors. Yeah, so we're going to see how this goes. I, I'm going to try to do a week, you know, and, and it's not that I'm going to give it up. I just want to see if I have a problem. You know, it's, I don't like the idea of being addicted to things. And I, I'm not addicted to this because I know I can, you know, if I have a cold or like when I was at the beach the other, last week or this no last week uh, it was no problem i just okay i'm not going to do that now i'd sit here and smoke all day when i work from home and then i go into the office where i have to go eight hours without it's, it's just not a problem uh, but i do like my haunted bookshop i just want to see if i can break that cycle a little bit let's do one week and plus, I got all this other stuff I got to get rid of, so. Well, folks, that's, that's probably enough for me today. I hope you enjoyed this uh, somewhat wild ride. I sure did. The rest of the day, uh, I'm not going to do a whole heck of a lot. Maybe sort through some stuff down here. I've been making good progress with the... The, the clean out so maybe I'll continue to work on that a little bit but nothing nothing too crazy back to work tomorrow so I hope you have a fantastic Sunday I hope you're looking forward to a great week ahead and until we speak again I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon goodbye now